All right, Shalom. One, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah pushing to get up out of here. Shout out one to the hopeful like the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Shah. And uh, what I want to get into today, all right, is pretty much how I was thinking, you know, back in school, how, you know, we will have tests, you know, that will be open book, you know. Which means that you could take the test, you know, with the book, all right, with the information pertaining to the test. So all the answers to the test, you know, will be, you know, in that particular book. You just had to uh, read it, you know, and research it, all right. You know, you had to read it and find it and extrapolate it. And that's such what the days. All right, he has given us all an open book test because everything we need, all right, on this journey of salvation is contained, you know, within the book. When you go to Psalms 119, all right, and 9, it said, Wherewithal shall a young man, all right, cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word, you know, because we have the instructions, all right, on how to cleanse, you know, this filth of this society off of us, and that's taking heed to the word. That means it's an action, you know. Understanding, you know, is one thing, all right, but utilizing this understanding and making it a lifestyle is another, and that's really taking heed when you, all right, hearken unto instruction, all right. And, and, and doing, you know, being the doer of the word. Within the book, so the Mosai has given us an open book test, all right, in these latter days, wherein all the answers, all right, that we need. Are within the book when you go to what is that on um, st john 15 and, and this is how shot speaking it says now ye are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you yeah so this this word is a cleansing agent you know and it's like we all was born in filth and we're still you know in filth all right, but we're striving for righteousness, which is, you know, hey, cleaning us, cleansing us, man, in the spirit. You see? And the scripture says, how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto <clears throat> to thy word. Now, who is the word? When you go to Revelation 19 and... And 13 and get straight to the point. All right, and he and that he is Yahweh Shah was clothed with a vexture dipped in blood, and they're just symbolic. All right, of the slaughter he's coming back, you know, to execute. You know, when he judged the earth in righteousness, man, it's going to be all right, a slaughter. All right, and it says, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. You see that. So we have Yahweh Shai, all right, and that's our open book test. He he comes in the volume of the book. You see? What he told Peter, feed my sheep for, for men that was called to teach, feed my sheep. He constantly told Peter, feed the sheep. <laughs> that's, so those men that are doing that are doing what? Taking heed, all right, to the word. You see? He gave the parable about the highways and byways. That's telling what? Men that go on the highways and byways. That's taking heed, you know, to the word. All right? It tells us what mindset to be in. Tell us prophecy. All right? Tell us, uh, 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 gives us, you know, 
scriptures on how to conduct ourselves, man. You know, taking heed to this word, like things like uh, sitting out with another man's wife at wine, man. You know, I me mean, getting comfortable with somebody's wife, too comfortable with somebody else's wife, man. You see, and that's just, and, and you know, that's an example. All right. Gives us the mindset, tell us the, 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 the scriptures telling us be ready to let these things go in these times, man. Alright. Be ready to let everything go because Esau even <clears throat> alright, the devil's about to leverage, you know, all the things that we have. Alright. He's about to leverage all these material things that we have to get us to comply. So the scriptures tell us to what, man? Be ready to lose these things. So when situations arise, all the answers are within the book because we got the prophecies, all right, that let us know how it's going to go down. You know? So in these latter days, how about Shema Shai has, you know, put us in a scenario where we, we're taking an open book test because you go to trials and temptations, you know? You go into temptation, it goes to prove, you know, to try. You know, it's a test. But the scriptures tell us how to react. The scriptures say what? Some of us going to be cast into prison. Be faithful unto death. So even if we got to die. <laughs> you see? We we got the reaction for every action that's about to take place. And it's written within the scriptures, man. So this is an open book test. It just come to a time now. But we're going to have to stand on what's written. You know, like the lesson the Elza Hall did. You know, we're going to have to stand on what's written you see so lord will you brothers and you few sisters are edified till the next time i say shalom one point y'all shalom baba ball dta soon